I was telling you on the other video that I had a uh, nose deal for an autograph. Ah! <laughs> So, some people asked me to tell the story, but bear in mind I was 16, now I'm 21. <laughs> so, it was a bit crazy. Well, a bit crazier than I am now. I'm still a bit crazy. <laughs> so, first, let me show you. This is my Ozzy Osbourne autograph. There's a picture of him, and then it says to Julia, and then there's like his signature. He's so cute. So, that's how it happened. <laughs> Ozzy was doing his Let Me Hear You Scream tour and he went to Brazil. Yeah, I was still living in Brazil at that time. And in Brazil it's a bit different when very famous people from different countries come because it's not like here in London they have very big gigs all the time. It's not like that because not everybody goes to South America. So when someone actually goes there, everybody wants to watch it and then it's very hard to get tickets and people queue for days and it's absolutely mad. <laughs> So I wanted to go to the queue one day before and sleep there, but I, I wasn't sure because I was a bit scared and I was going mad because I was thinking, oh my god, Ozzy Osbourne is here, <gasps> when is something like that going to happen again? <laughs> so I thought, I'm going to find out in which hotel he's in and I'm going to go there and try to talk to him, take a picture, get an autograph or something. But that's what I did, I went there one day before the gig in the morning, early, early in the morning, like 6 o'clock. <laughs> Well, of course, it was hard to get in because other fans were there as well and, of course, security, they know that fans are going to be there because someone famous is in the hotel. So what I did was... <laughs> it was really funny because I dressed very proper, very elegant. I didn't have colorful hair at the time, so I could hide the alternative more. So I was like looking very normal, very elegant. And, <laughs> and I went there, and you know how in hotels sometimes you can go just to have breakfast or just uh, go in the bar? I don't know, at least in Brazil some of the hotels are like that. So I went there and I got just a can of pop, because everything was expensive so all I could afford was a can of pop. And I sat there by the bar, drinking that can of pop, slowly, slowly, because I, I didn't have money to buy another one. <laughs> And I was there just pretending and waiting to see if I could see Ozzy or something. At the end, I was there for the whole day and I didn't see any Ozzy. So I was so upset, I was, oh my god, I didn't see him. So I decided, you know what, I'm, I'm not with anything, I'm not prepared, but I'm gonna go to the queue. I went to the queue and just and there were just six people in front of me. <gasps> this was the night before the gig, but I wasn't prepared, I didn't have a jacket, I didn't have food, I didn't have anything, just, just a ticket and my ID, nothing else, no money, it was crazy. And I slept there in the queue for that night, and it was super cool because the people queuing were crazy and they were so nice, and then obviously my mom went crazy because I didn't ask her, oh, can I sleep outside, can I sleep outside on the street? She wasn't happy, believe me, and I was 16, <laughs> and I just went, I didn't ask, just woo! Then the other day, well, I was queuing up for the whole day, of course, because the gig was just a night, and then finally they opened the gates and all, and I was right at the front. I was right at the front, he was like super super close to me. And it was amazing, I cried, it was, it was just amazing. But it was painful because all the people behind me, imagine thousands of people, all pushing me, like pushing the people at the front because they wanted to get at the front. And it was a bit violent, I don't know how it is here, but I have a natural gigs in Brazil, sometimes they can be a bit violent, so everybody was pushing and uh, the other day I had like here like a red mark from the thing and I was all, all over the place, it was crazy. <laughs> so that was the gig, but I was still upset because I, I didn't actually talk to Ozzy, I, I didn't see him like in real life, not uh, outside of the gig. So the other morning I went again to the hotel, it was probably his last day in Sao Paulo. <laughs> And I went there, did the same process, went there pretending I wasn't a fan. Da da da. That's when I see Adam, his keyboardist. And I was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And I went there, bear in mind I didn't speak English at the time. <laughs> so I was there, I was trying to talk to him, said, ah, oh, I went to the gig yesterday, it was cool, it was raining a lot, blah blah blah. That, that's like what I was trying to say, because it was half, half English, half head gestures because I said to him, oh, can I see Ozzy, maybe blah 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 and he said, oh, I don't think you can see him but I'm, I'm gonna go upstairs and I'm gonna ask him for an autograph, what's your name, blah 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 and I was freaking out, I was like, ah! 
And then he went upstairs and five minutes later he came back with... Where is the autograph? Yes. <laughs> he came back with this and I was like, no! Oh. oh, he touched it! Inside there! Oh. <laughs> That's so silly. But, you know, that was my reaction. I was 16. Of course, of course I'm gonna have this reaction. It was so cool. And then it didn't end, didn't end there. I was still waiting there because I wanted to see Ozzy because he was gonna leave the hotel to go to the next city or whatever. And then I remember the elevator or lift where the doors open and I saw him with his new rounded glasses and I was ah! Of course I screamed and I ran like Ozzy! Ah! And then a security guy called me and he held me and was pulling me like ah, and took me out of the hotel but I actually I saw Ozzy entering in his car when I was outside and he looked at me and probably saw a more crazy stupid girl but he looked at me and then he went to the next city <laughs> yeah so that's my Ozzy Osbourne and yeah if you like story videos, please give this video a thumbs up because then I'm gonna post more stories. I have so many crazy stories about when I moved to London and so many stories. So yes, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I post videos three times a week. And thank you so much for watching. Have a very, very lovely day. Mwah.